Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood. You are watching The Political Vigilante. Support the show on patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. One of the things you get to do is submit a topic or an article. That's at the $5 level. This was submitted by Nicholas Thompson. Where will the money come from? Rich people, Chicago Teachers Union says as it seeks increased pay, staffing, and contract. In contract. So they are, their contract is up, I believe, in June, the Chicago Teachers Union, and they're already asking for demands right now. And I'm going to get into the specifics of it. Why is this relevant? We've talked about it before. Last year, three different teachers unions went on strikes in red states and they won. They accomplished a lot of stuff, which I, I always view as like a very positive thing that things are on the move. Currently, at the time of this recording, the Los Angeles teacher strike is still happening, but I'm told uh, that both parties are getting very close. The mayor, Garcetti, released a statement um, on early Monday, January 21st, that both parties are getting close. So by the time you watch this, maybe the teacher strike has been, has ended in Los Angeles, or maybe the talks fell apart. I don't know, but it's, they're, what I understand, they're close. It's been a six day strike and they're close to resolving it. I hope they do and I hope the teachers get uh, everything they want if not very close to it. But this is significant because we're seeing this all over the country. You're gonna hear what's happening with the teachers union in Chicago is asking for is the same thing. More money and smaller class size. We've just been packing kids into public schools. We've been letting private schools get whatever they want. It's not good for our system but we've talked about this, right? So the powers that be want a less educated populace. They want people not that educated. They're easily influenced then. They're easily swayed. They want people don't have time to vote. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is important. We're going to track all these teachers unions and strikes and hope they get what they want. Because everyone's starting to realize you know, like in Los Angeles, and I did a video on this, is the school board, the head of the school board is like an investment banker. That's who they brought in to run it. Just like Trump brought in Betsy DeVos and her 10 yachts. Like that's how they're looking at your children's education is corporate bean counters. Like... An art program, oh, we gotta cut that. Sports, art programs, music, cut it, cut it. What, what kind of kids are we raising? Just worker drones, I guess, to just go sit in some Amazon, you know, slave factory and wear a diaper. Chicago Teachers Union members lodged their first demands for a new contract Tuesday, including pay hikes and a host of topics state law bars the labor group from striking over. State law says they can't strike. Wow. Months before negotiations will likely accelerate with a new administration. So Rahm Emanuel is the lame duck mayor of Chicago. A lot of people are trying to obviously get that position. I'm not that up to speed on the Chicago mayoral race. Um, Chicago Teachers Union's officials said their proposals include a 5% pay raise for union members. God, 5 that's bad. Ah, these teachers, man, always they're just... Milk and honey teachers are going to take that 5% raise and probably just fly around in their private jets. Betsy, that's how Betsy DeVos has 10 yachts. Um, the union is also demanding maximum classroom sizes that range between 20 and 24 students in early grades, counselors for every 250 students, and librarians and nurses staffed at every school. So this is the thing I talked about in my other, but like, a school nurse in some LA unified school districts, and I don't know what it's like where you live, is only on staff once a week. They can't. So we're just hoping that kids don't fall down and scrape their knees the other four days of the week. Wow. I can't even imagine. We had a school nurse every day. Like that, that's what you're cutting? A school nurse? It's preposterous. The things that the teachers unions are asking for, it's like, it's better for all of us. As a society, whether you call yourself liberal, conservative, Republican, Democrat, green, Christian, atheist, whatever, good public schools are better for society. If everyone has good schools, crime rate goes down, everything's better. 
You don't want a school nurse? Like you want your kids just packed into some 50 person classroom? What? The union also wants the district to hire more teaching assistants for some early grade classrooms, plus secure additional pay raises for the category of employees that includes those aides and school clerks. Yeah, you give people a decent wage, maybe smart, great people will want to be teachers. The CTU is also calling on CPS to boost the district's ranks of African-American and Latino job applicants and halt its outsourcing of school custodians from private care. Oh God, outsourcing. We need to privatize the janitors. The person who says that is the person that's going to profit from it. It's not beneficial for the school district. It's going to cost you more. It's not cheaper. It's going to cost more money. And it just means that somebody's getting a taste. Believe me, I know how Chicago runs. Whoever privatized the janitors, that guy's getting a taste. <laughs> He's getting an extra envelope every month. That's how that city works. Where will the money come from? Rich people. CTU Vice President Stacey Davis Gates said Tuesday as she repeated the union's call for Illinois to tax its wealthiest residents at higher rates and pointed to revenue generating ideas that need support from Democratic Governor J.B. Pritzker. We have a governor who is committed to legalizing recreational marijuana and putting a tax on it. We can take that as well, Davis Gates said. They're also talking about sports betting. We can take that. They're talking about opening a new casino here in the city of Chicago. We can take that. The state of Illinois has lottery. The state of Illinois has riverboat gambling. Um, you know, and if they want to make recreational marijuana and tax it, then that should be for the schools. That the, the, This union rep makes a great point. Stacey Davis Gates may just tell you where. I love, I love this. This is the shit you I love. Just go that direct. Don't, th this is, th don't like, well, we need, no, the rich people can pay for it. The marijuana tax can pay for it. The sports, you want to gamble on sports and there's a tax? That can go for schools. That sounds good. Want to gamble on sports and smoke weed legally? Awesome. Great, we're going to have a good school, smaller class size, nurses on hand, teachers assistants, better pay for the teachers, incentivizing to get the best and brightest teachers. Don't you want the best and brightest people to teach your children? <laughs> That's awesome, man. We can take that. I love it. <laughs> CT was also relying on union polling that shows broad public support for the labor group as it carries out its own contribution to a movement that saw teacher strikes in several states last year including the nation's first charter school strike. Like I said, those three states last year that had teacher strikes were all in red states. Illinois is blue. Chicago is very blue. It's very union. It's very working class. Uh, it's very corrupt, but they have, they're smart in doing this. In my opinion, this is a very smart move. At the same time, CTU's proposal to help repair an intensely segregated school system collide with problems including limited funds and a statewide teacher shortage that's already contributed to a raft of the unfilled positions inside CPS. Wow. Richest country in the history of the world. This affects all of us. It's not just because I'm from Chicago. LA's in a teacher strike right now. You might live in a city that already had a teacher strike or is about to have one. So how these all play out are, are something we all should pay attention to. It's the thing I talk about, man. Get involved on a local level. Know who's on your school board. Are they investment people? Who's running the teachers union? Who's doing this? This affects all of our lives. I don't have kids, but I want good schools. Because good public schools, kids have education and hope and they're out of trouble. You don't give them much opportunity, they start getting into trouble. The dynamic of those negotiations could hinge on who is elected mayor. The CTU has endorsed Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle, don't know much about this person, and steadily criticized political veterans Bill Daly, oh, the Daly family, and Jerry Chico. CTU officials did not discuss the possibility of a strike during a news conference stage outside Emanuel's office. A long list of events occur that needs the coming months before a work stoppage becomes a real possibility, starting with the outcome of the coming city elections. It's a smart tactic. Whoever's running for mayor better be pro-teachers union because <laughs> if you don't get their vote, I don't know if you're going to win.
and it's a huge, like the, this is the third largest school district in the country. LA's two, New York is one. This is number three. So these massive school districts are having teacher strikes. It, there is a ripple effect. Those three strikes last year had a very positive effect. A lot of people are like, no, we need this. And a lot of people are waking up that union membership and good schools and all that stuff is actually beneficial for all of society. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Please go to GrahamElwa.com, support uh, all my tour dates. Like I said, January 30th, Political Vigilante Live with special guest Jimmy Dore. All of the tour dates on the road uh, at GrahamElwood.com. Thanks for watching.